here's all the different data types. There's int, um, int, that's an integer. Um, it's just whole numbers. And the size is four bytes. Now there's unsigned integers. Uh, an unsigned integer, I'll be going over what's the difference between signed and unsigned in the next slide. Um, that's also four bytes. Now there's float, which is a floating point number. And that allows you to have um, a number of decimals behind the number. And that's also four bytes. Now double is a double precision floating point number. And that lets you do massive amounts of decimals. Um, if you're dealing with really big numbers, you're going to use a double. And that takes up eight bytes. Now uh, uh, char. It, that's a character. That's just one single letter, like A, B, or C. That takes up one byte. And then there's string. Um, it is a it's a string. And then the example, this is a string. Uh, it depends on how many characters you have for what size it is. And then there's bool. And that really isn't like data types, really. But I decided to add it in here because it kind of it goes along with this. Um, that's a boolean and it's true or false. So if you're going to be doing, uh, can't think of an example or program. Oh, like yes or no. Like, do you want to, uh, let's say, turn on the camera for, uh, like photo booth that type that type of application? You would do uh, one as yes and zero as no. So if you do that, it would be four bytes because you're using num an integer. But you can also um, I heard about uh, people putting it as a uh, character to save bytes, but that's really if you're just trying to make like a super fast application. But uh, pretty much it'll be four bytes, or if you use a character, it'll be one byte. But um, you won't really have to worry about how many bytes uh, the Boolean is. Now, signed or unsigned. Um, an integer, um, most of those, they did have uh, extreme limits of how much uh, the numbers that they can handle. Um, for an integer, it's two billion, uh, one hundred forty-seven, or yeah, one hundred forty-seven million, four hundred eighty-three thousand six hundred forty-seven, uh, positive and negative. So, by default, all variable types are signed. So, if you don't, you don't have to say signed int. You can just put int, and it automatically says it's signed. Now if you're dealing with a really really large number for some reason uh, you can make it unsigned int and then that allows um, that maximum number of variables um, to be added all the positive. So it's now 4,294,967,294 but um, so that's only if you really need that maximum capacity it is really the only time you'll be using the signed run signed now initialization um, this is reserving memory for a variable uh, first off you say the type of variable so in this case int and then you do the name uh, and integer semicolon. Now also in the initialization you can assign a number to it. So you can do int and integer and equal signs in programming it doesn't actually mean equal. It actually just is pretty much is. So and integer is 42. Equals equals is so if you're doing like 2 plus 3 equals 5, it'd be 2 plus 3 equals equals 5. So when you actually wanted to say be like equals, you have to use 2. But for most things, because equals is used so much in Objective C, it's just one equal sign. So um, you can assign a number with it right here in the second one. And then the last one there, it's int and integer, and then comma and integer 2 semicolon so you can initialize two variables at a time there now equal is the assignment operator I already went over that uh, 
So when you see equal, um, you can pretty much just say in your head is instead of equals. And then semicolon, vital, vital piece. Uh, a lot of errors early on are just for from forgetting the semicolon. But it tells the computer when you're done with a statement. Now operators, they perform operations on data. So the plus is addition, subtraction is the minus, uh, asterisk is multiplication, slash is division. That's pretty simple. The last one you may not be familiar with, that's the modulo. Uh, modulo is the result. Um, the result is the remainder from integer division of uh, first the first operand by the second. So if it was 15 divided by 4, uh, 4 goes into 15 three times and with a remainder of 3. So the modulo for that would be 3. So it's just, it's really just the remainder of division of integers. If the value of the second operand is 0, the behavior of modulo is undefined because you can't divide something by 0. Now we're going to be going into Xcode to actually do some